everyone decline it. That's so you can both do it on both sides of the ball. TD Barrett on offense to start this game. How about a little read option? And it's Michael Vick first. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down TD Barrett's offense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never been to see any of my videos ever before, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks. Now, sometimes we do pro player breakdowns like this one where we talk kind of film study and kind of break down what they're doing and why they're doing that. Um, we also do videos that our subscribers ask us to do. And so one of my subscribers asked me, to uh, break down TD Barrett's offense, and this is kind of a fresh breakdown. We might do a little bit more um, breakdowns on TD Barrett as he goes on, because I think TD Barrett's actually a really, really good player and did some really, really good things in his matchup against Noah. So let's jump into the video. If you've never subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We upload new videos every single day at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So I'm going to jump over here into game, uh, and basically what I want to do is talk through kind of what Noah was doing on defense, um, and pretty much what he was doing was he was running a lot of Mabel coverage, uh, a lot of big nickel over G. Uh, that's kind of his bread and butter. Uh, that, that, that's kind of his bread and butter uh, defense. So you'll see him coming in doing that. And then as far as what was TD Barrett doing, well, in the first play of every drive, Basically, what he would do is he would come out in the spread and he would run this QB wrap. And the reason why he would run the QB wrap is because, number one, it's very difficult to shoot this run. Okay, It's actually, in my opinion, probably the best quarterback run in the game. But number two, the other reason is to get the ball on a specific hash mark. Right, So QB wrap would be the first play. It'd get the ball on a specific hash mark, and then he could go do what he was going to do. But as you can see here, um, the run is really, really good. Now... I would anticipate that TD Bear probably played on conservative um, for the majority of the game, just so he wouldn't fumble the ball with with his quarterback. But as you can see, if you have Lamar Jackson, like this run can be really, really, really powerful, especially against Big Nickel over G. And a lot of people set up for Big Nickel over G is to do something like this right here, where we're basically kind of creating a four-two-five look. Um, but the problem is if that wide receiver makes that one block, he's actually going to almost take out two people. So the first play that he ran was big nickel or, uh, was QB round. Let's take a look at what he's going to do next. Down and more. He'll slide down at the 40 yard line. Great start offensively for the YouTube star. Well, in your first major, your first competitive game on a stage like this, and you get a big play running a little QB rap right there with that Mike Vick. So no nerves so far on the first play. We'll see what the rest of the drive looks like, but great way to start it off if you're TD Barrett. That's got to get you a pretty big exhale to start the game, right? Like the nerves, you're competing in your first televised MCS game. Picking up 15 on the first down has got to settle some of those down. Oh, without a doubt. And, you know, we talked to TD Barrett, and he has a lot of respect for Noah's game. He knows how good he is on defense with the stick work, as you see a big – now, um, the next play that you're going to see TD Barrett run is a halfback wham play. And what you'll also notice in this game is that TD Barrett is oftentimes running with essentially an ace personnel set on the outside. So he's got a two, he two tight end set uh, that he's able to use. So he gets that extra blocking for QB wrap. But he's also able to audible into two specific formations, the gun wing, and of course, the single back ace, uh, the single back uh, deuce close. So what I'm going to do is show you this halfback wham. This is another run that's really, really good. And the reason why it's so good is because what TD Bear knows, and I thought he did a great job of labbing this scheme up. Um, TD Bear always comes with some nice running plays, uh, runs that are hard to stop. And Noah wasn't able to use her blow up this run, right? This is kind of the base setup that Noah was coming out with. And then what you were seeing is he could uh td barrett could audible down into this halfback wham and id noah's user basically so i'm gonna hit l1 x and then id the user and then basically um it's gonna be hard to shoot this run now you won't always get this you know perfect perfect gain like td barrett did in this game but for the most part TD Barrett was able to go to this these couple runs consistently. And to be quite honest with you, I feel like at this point in the first drive, he actually had Noah on the ropes. Uh, he had a really, really good offensive scheme and um, and, and just made one mistake that I, I think really just cost him the game.
run here, but TD Barrett knows how good Noah is. And the thing that I love about TD Barrett is most guys in the content creation uh, field of Madden, they don't know about competitive Madden, but not TD Barrett. This guy, he grew up watching Madden Nation. He's been watching competitive Madden, really got into it last year. So he's very committed. He said he wants to be great at this. And, you know, it's just awesome to see, really. Yeah, talking to him, he said this isn't a gimmick. This isn't just for a YouTube video. He wants to be a competitive Madden player. He wants to dovetail this with his uh, content creation career and show that you can do it if you put your mind to it. He said one of his biggest keys, TD, was finding a group like Ian. Now, right there, that was just an inside zone. I'm not going to spend too much time breaking it down. Basically, um, TD Bear was just trying to kind of keep Noah's user honest so that Noah's user wouldn't overextend to the QB wrap. I actually thought that was a bad call um, just because of how good the QB wrap really is and how Noah really wasn't ready for it. Um, so, you know, I don't really like that call, but that's what he did right there. EMB to lab Exactly. I mean, if you're looking for a group to play with, there's no better group than EMB. I mean, those guys are going to have you prepared. You see him coming out in a very unique offense. Like we say, he's in that Baltimore Ravens playbook. It's going to be a lot of kind of gimmick bubblegum stuff that we heard you talking about. But we'll see if he has some dots mixed in. But a lot of shotgun here in this Ravens playbook. Second and 10. First pass of the game for TD Paris. He looks over the middle. Dummy. It's oh, blocked and picked up. Oh and first pass of here in this Ravens playbook. All right, so the next play in the game, this is his pick, and uh, I actually don't, I don't hate, the, I don't like the play call, but I want to show you what he's doing here, just so we can break this down. So this is gun deuce closed. Now, if you take a look here, he has tight end apprentice on Vernon Davis, so he's able to put him on a corner route. So this is basically what you're going to see. Now, I don't have tight end apprentice in this uh, video, but uh, but we'll jump over here to gameplay. So this is basically he audibles to this this formation from. Um, from the spread so we'll come out in the spread and he's on the left hash so we'll show you this again so again coming out qb rap really really good offense and or uh, really really good play and then he's going to audible into um going to audible into his his other play now noah likes to run a lot of mabel coverage that's kind of noah's base defense is you're going to see that he's going to run a lot of Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. Like, that's his favorite way to play, really. Um, and so you'll see here, I've kind of set this up to where we're going to be able to have that. Okay. Uh, one second. There we go. Get these guys on flats. And then we've got a spy here. And uh, this is Noah's user right here. And so basically what's going to happen, I can't imitate it because I don't have a tight end apprentice in regs, but essentially this Andrews route's going on a corner route. And basically what's going to happen is TD Barrett is kind of banking, um, is kind of banking on the fact that Noah is going to effectively kind of try to over pursue to the drag and then TD Barrett's going to be able to hit this route. Noah does a really, really good job. He basically hands the drag off to those hard flats, and he's able to take that that route to that little spot route. So that's really what happened there. Um, this was probably one of TD Barrett's. This was worst play of the entire tournament, and this was the play that really um, propelled uh, just not good stuff. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's just jump back over here and check out the rest of the uh, the game. Some dots mixed in, but a lot of shotgun here in this Ravens playbook. I got a 10 for See right here. See here, this is what he sees. And he's just late. I mean, that's the end of the day. He's just late. Like, watch. If I, if I'm going to go frame by frame here, I mean, he has him. He has him right here. He has everything he wants. Everything worked out exactly as he had planned it. He just threw it. Late. And at that point, Noah's able to basically recover. TD Barrett now has a wide open drag. But unfortunately, for bad TD Barrett. Oh, here he was the guy with I like Oreo who's just experienced with the club champions two-headed attack here with Barkley and most Bro, give me one more and, stop. You know, one more stop. one more time wing flex close audible and down to I form and strong stretch 
back to the QB wrap on the first play. Now, what you're going to notice is Noah actually kind of adjusts to this, and I just want to break this down so you can know if you're running this run. This run is still the best run in the game, but I just want you to watch what's about to happen right here. Second of, um, let me get back to that first down. Wing flex close. All right, watch, 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 watch. Okay, so you'll see that because of this, you see here we've sh he shifts and goes into a different defense. Noah goes to nickel three three five Y because big nickel over G is not able to stop QB wrap. So Noah shifts, goes to nickel three three five Y, which is a great decision, right? Um, he's going to shift his line away and basically blow this up as if it was an inside zone. As you see here, he's able to do it. This is not a super consistent shoot. It's a shoot that will work every now and then, and he is able to shoot it right here. But um, if TD Bears, he can still hit this run. Uh, this is just Audible a good stop. Like right here, see see that guy hit him, right? He just didn't finish the block, okay? Strong, um, so anyway. Nice play call and his defense Make him pass, it's going to get ugly. Make him pass, it's going to get ugly, bro. I promise you it's going to get ugly. Now, you see here he subs in Dante Culpepper. Yeah, man. Make him pass. So you'll see some other things that he's going to go to now. Now I think defensively Noah's game plan is going to be to try to make flip the flip, pass. flip the spread. <laughs> Without a doubt, and you know we heard in the pregame Mo saying that he thinks Noah is the best defensive player or defensive stick work in the best of the game, and I noticed it last year. Really, you know when we watched him play in the challenge, that, and that was he the should first be going to I shotgun. Really saw him play, and Flex I was just off. So now this is where he's going to throw with how we play um, the screen he's pass right here. Watch what watch one. this guy right here. Gonna motion him over. The reason why is because he's gonna make this guy blitz. See right there? See, he's trying to make this guy blitz. Noah does a good job. He pass commits, right? Noah pass commits, so he doesn't blitz. He drops back off, and then basically uh, TD ends up ends up. I don't like what he did there, but I understand what his content. But let me show you. Let me show you what he's trying to do. Um, let me show you what he's trying to do. I'm gonna jump over to gameplay. So this is what TD Barrett was trying to do. And I'm just going to show it to you. I'm just going to literally just come out uh, and show it to you here, I believe. And, of course, let me see if I can find this thing. Flex off week. And this is a play that franchise ran um, that that he's basically trying to run. It's, it's this RPO read screen. Now, he ran it. Um, TD Bear ran it flipped. You, I think it works better if you run it the other direction. But he ran it flipped. Okay. So this is what's happening. Um, you see this right here? He's going to motion Sneed to the left side. So, And when you motion Sneed, you want to smart route him. At least that's what I would do. What you'll see now is it leaves the circle, um, the guy covering the wide receiver as the, as the uh, pitch defender, right, or the, the pass defender. If they don't pass commit, he's going to blitz off the outside. Let me show you what's going to happen. He blitzes off the outside, and I can throw this ball and get an easy 10 yards. That right there is what he was trying to do, okay? Obviously, it didn't work. Why did it not work? Well, if you pass commit, and that's what that's what Noah did. He pass committed. You'll see here, he's going to sit on it. Now, what I would have liked to see TD Barrett do in that situation, he kind of stood there, um, and I just, like, I just thought it was a bad decision by him. Um, he kind of stood there and didn't really react, right? Noah pass committed. So what that means is you have no play. You have no, the play's dead. So run the ball straight forward and get a couple yards. Had he ran the ball forward like that, he probably would have got a couple yards. Instead, he stands still and ends up getting uh, bagged here. So, uh, but now we're going to get into some of the better parts of this scheme. A whole lot of anything. Now huh? the Asimov in the backfield. Don't love the play call right there. I don't know if he was taking a page out of Franchise's book with the little RPO screen right there, but from watching Franchise play, that's not right, he's something going to you want to here. emulate here. Now, when he and wants to pass, difficult third and one six. sec here. When he wants to pass, you notice he's going to put Culpepper in. Why? Because Culpepper has the gunslinger ability. He has the gunslinger ability on Culpepper. So Culpepper's going to be able to throw the ball with the best of the best, going to be able to get the ball out. Now, right here, he's going to go to probably one of his best plays. He's going to go to gun wing. And uh, and it looks like T or um, Noah's actually going to be in dollar, so we'll break that down for you. But let's take take a look at this play here. Sixteen now. Noah can really dial it in. Maybe bring some. So you see here, this is the tight end apprentice or the the route apprentice that he has on Julio, right? He's got a fade, a curl, a option route. Honestly, I don't necessarily love the route combo from this, but we'll show you how it works uh, against Noah's defense. He. Might stay with some coverage, but watch his user over the middle. Oh, he motions him. He motions him over. Okay, this makes more sense. 
So he motions him over. So right here, this guy's on a smoke screen. This is a different setup. Motions over the crossing route. So he's got a crossing route to Jones, right? He's got this this guy right here is going to be on a um, um, he's going to be on a, a little delay fade, and then he's got the curl as a check down on the backside here. Oh. Yeah, he ends up not snapping it. Okay, I gotta relax a little bit. You know, this is maybe one of the the aspects of the game, Ty, that is. So now it looks like he's gonna change his mind here. He should go to. Been here before. There's a lot of nerves with five thousand dollars on the line and the chance to represent an NFL team. Oh, Nick, you nailed it. Those are route, head, post you know, route combination. That's what people don't understand. That's just route apprentices that he why. has. It's so difficult. Um, and what you'll see here, man, is he's gonna roll out. Now look, now look right here. This is what he's. This is what TD Barrett. I mean, this is a great play. So everything's taken away, right? But he leaves this tight end in. He's going to release this tight end. He's got everything pulls Noah's user to the right here. Now, if he wanted to, he could hit this flat route and kind of set up a, a fourth and short. Doesn't des decide to do that. But anyway, rolls out. Because you know, this fade going to release the fade. Play, fade goes I'll, upfield. So now let's jump over to game here. I just want to show you the setup, and I'm not going to be able to show you, like, all of the routes here, uh, all of the things, but I will be able to show you a decent portion of what's happening. So this is a late, late, late read, but basically we're delay faying this guy. We're going to put um, the tight end on, like, a corner route. We're just going to imitate it with an out route, and essentially what's going to happen is we're going to pull everything with us this way, and then we're going to release this tight end. Now the reason this works is because of how much Noah runs you uh, um, Noah runs um, Mabel coverage. So what that means is Noah's going to take everybody out of the play. So he'd do something like this, right? And then his user, if I can get on the user, um, is going to take the tight end man to man. So that's kind of what Noah did, right? And so because of that, then what you're going to see here is it's, you know, and again, if you, you want to have route apprentices to be able to do it in regs, it's kind of hard to do that, but just releases him up and he's able to hit him. Okay. So that's why he does that delay fade. Forget about the fade. That's on me. Thank you. That's on me. Nice. Bye -bye. Nice dot right there by Barrett to get back in it. But yeah, Nick, that's oh, the thing the that really people don't realize is. When you get in that hot seat with seventy five hundred dollars on the line, you know things change. You get the nerves going. It's a lot different, and we are at home, so it's here. He's going to go back to halfback wham. If that's the complete difference, people understand. Sometimes you're just at home playing your pajamas, making YouTube videos, but when you get in this hot, when you get in this hot seat on this big stage, things change. Your brain starts working differently, and you got to get ready for the moment. I would go inside Bear, zone split. Don't really like this play call. These are champion, he's trying to run this because because he doesn't. I just didn't. Oh, I don't like that play call at all. Um, Noah's too good to run that play against him. That's that's what I think. I mean, you just you know Noah's gonna shoot that. Like I think what TD was trying to get was he's trying to get that uh, that and I'll show you the play here really quickly in the Ravens playbook. So we'll just come over here to game real quick. What TD Barrett was trying to do, and it really all you got to do is look at the uh, look at the drawing here from inside zone split here. What he's trying to do is trying to get that backside tight end to come over and do a, a trap block on the user, but it just it's Noah's user so good he's going to get in before that can even happen. So just didn't like that play call right there from Barrett. And Push and home of my football. Noah prep for that one. It's all right, that so man, second and twelve. Is making plays. Last year, we said it. So many hit sticks from Noah. You see it again right there. That Taylor Mays has been the MVP of the tournament, in my opinion. Just blows up the inside zone in the backfield with a big hit stick. Can TD Barrett find some offense down the field? Right here, it looks like FL Cross. He's going to flip the it. Chat. Shout out to all the TD Barrett subscribers in the chat rooting for their guy. They're only seven nothing in this one. It's running this curl flat concept on the left side. Watch it. Use a rush. Gets out of the pocket. It's going to get thrown right. away. Mm. Um, no nothing too crazy about that. Away. Another third down. <laughs> nothing too crazy about that right there. Mainly just a. But he will go back to that play. Uh, he will go back to that play. That was FL cross, and basically he just created a curl flat concept on the left side. It's from spread double flex 
uh, right here, third and 12. Going back to Gunwing. Now, you can tell Gunwing's the best formation that he's got because when he, it's a clutch situation, that's what he's going to go to almost almost every time. Uh, right here going to tight end attack. Um, he's going to have this curl flat concept here. He's going to have this man beater over the middle. Noah's going to always take this route right here, leaving the curl wide open and first down. Let me break this one down. This was a great play by Barrett. Okay, so uh, this is this is Gunwing, and let me show you what he just did. So this was tight end attack. Okay, now Noah is going to run almost every single time in this situation. Noah's going to run something like this, right? He's going to run some kind of Mabel coverage, and then he's going to use her over the middle. So if you look at your routes here, TD Barrett's simply going to create a curl flat concept with a little option route to the tailback. And Noah is oftentimes going to have to take the, the tight end attack route. Well, because Noah's got his zone drop set at 20 yards for purples, drift, drift, drift back. And I'm going to be able to hit that curl route every single time. That's exactly what TD Barrett saw there. Exactly what he was able to do. The curl route. He's, man, we know Terry McLaurin as a guy with wheels. Somebody can over the top. And he's got some good route running. A little curl route for our first down for TD Barrett. Yeah, we've seen how effective those curl routes are, especially with the aggressive catch right there wide open. But he did have a rope behind it that I thought he might have been able to get for a big play, but able to check down, go to the curl, picks up a nice first down. Right here going to uh, quick base or power O. Quick base, I believe, is what it's called half. here. Back to work. No way. Back to that. Inside. So TD Barrett has labbed that. He's, he has labbed that run against that defense. And basically, it's very difficult for Noah to shoot it. Noah was able to shoot it. It's very difficult for Noah to shoot it. On first down, as a general rule, what TD Barrett's going to do is he's going to run the ball. I think almost every single time in this game plan, he runs the ball on first down every time. Noah picks up on that tendency. So if you're running this offense, I would not recommend doing that. I would recommend running it, you know, obviously run the ball, but you don't have to run it every every first down because Noah's going to pick up on that tendency. The better players that you play are going to pick up on that. So Noah's not really thinking at all about the pass until he gets in third down situations. Now the play that he used right there, I believe, was the quick base. Uh, was I think it was from Gun uh, Gun Wing. Yep, it was a 45 quick base there, and uh, you know just basically a little power roll run. The reason why he's run that is because it's hard for TD Barrett to shoot it, or not TD Barrett, but hard for Noah to shoot it. Obviously, it didn't end up working out for him. So far, Noah's run defense has stood up to the task. He is one of the best defensive players in the game. By far, without a doubt. And you see T-Bat really mixing up his formations. He's been going to some shotgun spread, going to some shotgun wing. You see him go under center a little bit. So second and 11, you know, it's really been the story of can he pass good enough because Noah's run defense has looked phenomenal. Second down to 11. Culpepper, waiting. Good coverage on, down man. He, take uh, he had him right there over the top, actually. Uh, Noah's wrong. And let me show you what he just did. Um, now, again, with the reason this is going to work better in regs, like this is a really good regs offense for the Ravens. Um, but basically what he did was he went to this play right here, PA post cross. Now, Noah is going to run, once again, more than likely running in some type of Mabel coverage. But Noah's going to blitz this time. So he's going to send five. So TD Barrett's going to block, right? So he's blocking people. And he has this deep post route. Now, when you don't have any backside routes, that cover three zone will oftentimes just sit there, okay? So just to show you this right now, um, what we're going to do is kind of give myself a little five-man rush. But I just want to show you, if you have escape artists, he would have been able to get out of the pocket. And this is what he was trying to hit. And I don't know why Lamar's, I don't know why my right trigger's not working uh, properly. But I'll show you. So you get this kind of look. And then remember, Noah's going to use the middle linebacker every play. So you get this basic front here, right? Um, TD Barrett put a little quick out to boil. And I believe he just blocked his tailback. And I don't even know if he actually kept the play action on. But basically here, um, his job is to get out of the pocket, roll out, and hit that route over the top of it. Okay, that's what he was trying to do, right? It, it obviously, and if you take a look here at the computer, if we back this up here and just watch. Second and 11, you know, it's really been the story of can he pass good enough. Second down to 11. Watch here. So, so, so you see here, Noah goes to cover two. Cover two here. 
So he goes to cover two, which is going to make this a wide, op more open play. Call Pepper. Roll out Waiting. right there. He has him. He has a, a step on him. So now let me show you this in gameplay from the same coverage Noah used. Noah set five out of Tampa two. That's what he basically did. So he has two yellows on the field. And he's going to send five. Now, if TD Baird is patient enough with this play, you'll see. He's got to get out of the pocket, come out. Once he gets that step on him, he can throw that to the right, okay? And he can have a chance. That's what he was trying to do. So uh, with Culpepper and with a faster receiver and Mutt, that would have worked, okay? Come on, down man. He was going to take the shot. The defense will get there first. Pat Willis with the sack, third and long. Noah's defense standing tall. You see Noah's user pick up that crossing route, going to the left side. Looks like oh, he had a one-on-one -on -one with that deep post right there, but you can't really throw that. TD was about to throw that, and then it could have been a pick. So uh, here we go again. Noah's defense looking good. If you're TD Barrett, maybe go back to that tight end delay fade. Get about half of this back. You had some so here he's going to have to take a timeout. And I don't think Barrett, like, I think Barrett had a lot of nerves in this game. Obviously, it's been his first game. I, I don't think, like, I think if Barrett was to play this game again, you'd see a little bit more a little bit more like precision and like picking the same couple things. Uh, he's taking way too much time in the pre-play, um, and I think he's trying to calm himself down. But timeout that ends up killing him. I mean, he has to take a timeout TD in that situation. Two remaining. So anyway, he's gonna go to gun. Uh, is it coming out in gun deuce close? <sighs> Flipped it. Um, Reggie Bush on the right hip of Cole Pepper. You got McLaurin. And see, just Pet trying Matt, to decide what to receiver. do. Doesn't have a. No, I, I just I'm not sure of his plan. Vernon Davis and Darren Waller. But anyway, right here he's actually going to get him. Uh, this is actually a crazy play, tight ends, two and we'll talk about why. On opposite sides, as Culpepper drops back, blitz picked up nicely. Culpepper's outside of the pocket. Dot. He's taking the shot. He has him. It's Dot. caught by Vernon Davis. Oh. Double. All right, let's talk about this. This was a great. This was a great route. So Noah's running a lot of cover two, right? Noah's ran cover two a lot uh, through the course. Of this either running cover two or cover three, but most of the time it's cover two. It's gonna and Noah's gonna take away the whole middle of the field. That's kind of his plan. So TD Barrett catches him. I mean, he straight up catches him. He goes to this wing slot. And if you know anything about wing slot, it has a wheel route to the tight end and verticals. So we'll show you that really quickly. If I can find it, it might not be wing slot. It might be, it's, it's like an ace twins. Let me see if I can find it here. Hmm. Wing slot. Is it, uh, it's not from, yeah, here we go. Four verticals. That's what we're looking for. So Noah's coming out, and he's going to run uh, cover two, 100%, cover two. And what he's going to do is he's going to throw those those two purples, right? And then we're going to spy, and then we're going to use her with Kirksey, okay? That's kind of the plan. So what Barrett's going to do is he's literally just going to throw this guy on a hitch, block his running back, and allow his tight end a bunch of space on the right side. Gets out of the pocket, rolls out. And was able to pass lead this route to the right. Now, um, as you see there, I throw a pick, and I want to break down why um, this is why Noah. The issue that, and the reason why I threw a pick was because TD Barrett ran this to the short side of the field. If I was running this to the wide side of the field, you would want to motion the tight end out to give him a little bit more space. But because I ran, because TD Barrett runs this to the short side of the field, um, that's actually going to help him out quite a bit with this play. So you'll see here, just dropping off the Mabel coverage here. Throw a spy on the field. Um, and this is basically just we're going to take advantage of this right here. Um, now, I think he does streak this guy just to get him a little bit more outside leverage. Let's see. Get out of the pocket. Roll out and throw it up. Now, um, let me show you this back on the computer screen and we'll show you frame by frame here. So you'll see right here. Cover two. Look right here. Cover two. Okay. Cover two. See the backs in the back block. Here's a little hitch right here. Noah does send pressure. So you've got this vertical. Now this guy's going right up the seam, and he's going to take both of these two guys with him. This cloud flat, because he's uh, because Noah's doing zone drops, so he's going to zone drop, so he's not going to follow him. And you'll see, rolls out. This guy turns his hips. And Noah's able, because of Gunslinger, really, uh, or Barrett's able, because of Gunslinger, able to throw this to the right side and hit him for a touchdown. And we'll show you this in our uh, gameplay here just one second. So 
again, just to show show you what's happening. Um, Noah is going to send pressure off of the right edge or off of the left edge, like this, right? And basically, this is the play that we're running. Come out, get out of the pocket, and. Normally that uh, that linebacker won't follow, and the reason why that I apologize. The reason why that linebacker is following is because I have him in the wrong zone. Uh, he should be in a he should be in a, a vert hook. No, I didn't put him in a curl flat. Actually, he put him in a vert hook uh, just because of TD Barrett. What he had been doing, the tendencies TD Barrett have was not to throw it uh, out there. So you see, this is what really you're looking at right here, and that's really what you're looking for um, to throw this. Now the issue with uh, regs is with regs I don't think you have um, I just don't think you have as big of a window to be able to hit this route because you don't have gunslinger so you really need to get this pass lead to work um, but again you see Lamar can't make the throw for me but th that's kind of the idea of what he was doing what's picked up nicely Cole Peppers outside of the pocket he's taking this the momentum going but All right, Noah's so Noah gets here bought half so. once 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 Noah has been every Giants fan. And Noah's going to go down and score again. Big drive right there by Noah. It's a and championship that shows you drive why from Noah, That's why he's so good at the game. And that one of the clutchest moments, you need a big drive. So realistically, like, and if you actually watch this game, had TD Barrett not thrown that interception on the first drive, I actually believe he might have won this game. Like, literally, if he hadn't have thrown that, that kind of, like, blind interception, it's a bad read, he probably would have won this game. Uh, anyway, let's keep breaking down his offense. He goes down the field and he gets seven. He doesn't get seven, and that's what puts on, these type of games stop. away. One stop. Come on. One stop. Finish. Finish. Take a look at this touchdown. The blocking up front was stellar, and Bark was going to walk on, into stop. the end zone. One more stop. Like, I'm Choice. I mean, third in Africa. I've never heard that before. But right here, read here option. Here we go. TD Barrett now. You know, first. He's got MCS this guy to take the user away. Ten, over Takes a the user away. Third. He's able to hit it. That's a good run. You got to get at least. So you're seeing that, like, with the runs in the Ravens playbook. From these deuce close type of sets um let me show you what i'm talking about deuce close if you look here not only do you have that but you have that y lead read option that lead read option that cross blocking of that tight end is going to do a good job of taking away the user if you want to run the ball and again notice the tendency another first down run for for td barrett these three points here nick you know you want to get down there as fast as possible you see him going some no huddle i like that decision qb wrap right here I just wish he would call it. I don't want him to move. He's going to go to QB power out of gun wing. ID and Noah's user. Michael Vick into the game. And quick base, actually. Pulling guard. He's going to motion him over. So he's... And there you go. See, these runs are starting to open up. Right, because he's starting to be able to account for his user. In Madden 20, everyone was using Vic. In Madden 21... Can we wrap here? This is the first time we've seen Vic on the field, I think, through all the Goes to deep curl. And he's going to yeah, run it you stop. Pointed out a lot of variety at running back, but there's also a lot of And I'll break that down real quick. So this is a, a almost like a quick hike, but he's basically um, Noah has to devote so much user uh, attention to the QB wrap, right? Like so much user attention to the QB wrap uh, to the point that literally like we're blitzing everybody if I'm Noah, right? Uh, we're blitzing five against this formation. We're blitzing six. And so, you know, T.D. Barrett's like, okay, you're not taking the hard flats away. I'm just going to take my little route. That's all that is. Um, you're basically reading your curl flat read. If your curl flat read doesn't happen for you, you can come backside and read uh, the other routes on the field as well. So I love this play. It's a good play you run. You just quick hike it. Very good play by T.D. Barrett. It's just a quick hike. Um, just kind of catching Noah off guard really with that play. Variety at quarterback this year. You know, you see Josh Allen, you see Brett Favre, Dante Culpepper, Mike Vick. We've even seen some Joe Montana. So a lot more variety this year in Madden 21 when it comes to building a mutt roster. Now you see TD Barrett because he's taking so much time. Oh, again, a lot of his like a lot of the natural like time savers he didn't. No matter what happens here, he's going to continue on the grind. Now this play is actually a 45 quick base again, trying to take Noah's user and blow it up, and and it's not. My opinion, he waits way too long to start passing the ball in this game. I've been impressed with TD Barrett. You know, 
he's looked he's looked he hasn't looked great but he hasn't looked bad by any means you know he's stuck in the game he's going up against a, one of the top probably 10 15 players in the world right now Titan and attack. he's stuck around he's still hanging around he's looked he bounced back from some early adversity so for his first mcs major curl here, route right here that up. same play same yard gainer and he's probably gonna hit this curl down at five there's four verticals well, out of it. Hits the curl. Yep. It's picked up. Curl route right side. Terry McLaurin. So that's that same play we went over. Tight end attack with the curl Bear. route. Curl flat concept. To impress me. Curl flat combo versus Noah's zone defense to the right side. Goes with some hurry up here. Look for a QB, QB power. power. Going to the outside. That's great stick work. Uh, let me break that down real quick. So he goes to QB power uh, in this situation. I want to break this down really quickly for you. Um. And basically, when you're facing 335 wide, TD Barrett's lab this up, right? So he knows that Noah is going to try to basically shoot it, right, with something like this. And what TD Barrett does, he's going to motion this guy over and ID Noah's user. That guy's going to follow. And basically, what you're going to do here is you're going to stop and then let that block hit, pick up and then go. And it's going to be a very good way to run this play. So QB power is very underrated. Um, it's really, really good out of this formation, especially if you're running the Ravens and Rags. Uh, this is really, really, really good. But when you run this, most people will stick with this wing. It's actually smart to do what TD did where he motions him over. Um, it's going to get you a little bit more secure blocking. And as you can see here, you can really get out and you can roll with this thing. Okay. So that is QB power. Enzy, Dante Culpepper getting in to the QB run game. A little hesitation, a little stop and go. You'd like to see Vic maybe in that spot, but going with that hurry up, he's just trying to get as many plays off. You can see TD Barrett looking up at the clock. He knows it's getting into that desperation time here. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown before the two-minute warning. All right here, this is that corner route. That same play he went to with the corner route, the dig. Motion out, well, throw it away. Five, rolling out in trouble. And actually, he hits the oh, running route. For the two-minute warning. Let me, talk, let me talk you through this real quick. So if you take a look here, watch what's going to happen. So we, we already talked about this. The only thing that's different about the setup from last time is this guy on the backside is on a dig route. He's not on a post route. That's the only thing different. Vernon Davis is going to fall down, so he's going to lose that opportunity to hit that route. But Noah's blitzing everybody. You see here. One, two, actually, I guess he just wasn't four. One, two, three, four, five. Wasn't five, okay? So um, he's got this vertical route that's going to pull the cloud. The, see how the cloud drifts back? So this is just basic cover two, right? There's no hard flat. So TD Barrett does a really, really good job of basically getting this route to the sideline and passing it up and hitting it in a very tender spot. Uh, right here, roll it out, and he's going to find him right here, just simply pass leading him up and hits him for a huge gain. I mean, that's a really, really good route. That that was a nine-yard flat route. Really, really nice. Out of the 15-yard line. Hottie McDotty right there. Nice one. At the last minute, he gets it off, able to convert on the sidelines and get out of bounds. So I believe the clock is stopped here. You see TD Bear. I know the nerves are getting to him. He's so excited, man. This I love to see this because you can see him taking those deep breaths. He knows this is, it matters to him. It's important to him. Go, it's go, big breaking tackles. And that was that inside read option. Uh, let me break this down just really quickly. This wasn't QB wrap, okay? This was inside, and I'll show you the play. Right here, now you notice that the guy that's responsible for the running back is nowhere. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. Okay, he might be this guy right here, but nowhere to be found. Noah's user tries to blow up the Reggie Bush run. See that right there? He takes Reggie Bush. Leaves a wide open alley for him to run through. I'm going to show you this in gameplay. So um, right here, if you take a look at this, this is deuce close. And it's just the read option. It's just the read option. But he flips it. Nickel 3 through 5. Remember, Noah's running a lot of cover 2. Now if I show you the play art, you're going to see that it puts this emphasis on this guy right here. But Noah was doing this defense right here. See this? He was pinching the linebackers. When you pinch the linebackers out of 3-3-5 wide, it t it messes up the, the shooting for this, this play. So there's no one to take Lamar Jackson. Absolutely no one. And as you can see, this thing is able to get out 
and go for a lot of yards. That's why he kept going to this because when you run 3-3-5 wide, if you shift them this way, which a lot of people will do that to stop the inside zone, you can see here there's no read defender. No read defender at all. It's just keep it with Lamar. And if they get a block shot, they get a block shot. So that was a great play call by TD Barrett. Deep breaths. He knows this is, matters to him. It's important to him. Go, and Michael, Vic breaking tackles down to the one yard line. Michael Vick down to the one for TD Barrett. He's still got life. The Canadian YouTube superstar is a fighter. He's not giving up. Great run right there, getting down to the one. He wanted to punch that in right there. You got to try to punch this in as quick as possible. Let's see what he cooks up. It's got to be maybe a QB power again or look for a fullback dive. I don't know if I love the QB power. If you're Noah, you got to expect this is coming. This formation is an easy tell. That it's 100% either a quick base or QB power. This is an interesting play call right here. Five, seven. See here, this is QB power. QB powers are really good running the red zone too. Lead. So he's going to stick with it. Now watch, he's going to do the stutter move with Dante. Watch what he does. There's a motion over. He actually flips so it now. Is that running back there? Pounds it in. Great job. Let me show you that really quick in game. Just so you can see this, because I thought this was a great play call. Um, but again, uh, that's the read option. Now, if they don't pitch their linebackers, this is, you know, they're not going to be able to hang on that. So just be aware of that. But anyway, um, so really what you're looking for is for them to pinch their linebackers. But this is what you saw um, right here for the, for the bread. Right, this was something like this right here. So what TD Bear is going to do is he is going to basically playmaker this run to the left side. And remember how he had motioned over that tight end prior? Here, this makes a lot of sense to motion over the tight end because now you're going to be running this to the left side. And it's a little bit more of a quicker, like, downhill type run, get a yard in a cloud of dust. But as you see, it's tough to stop for a yard. Tough to stop for a yard. So uh, great job by TD, uh, and we'll break down the next drive. TD Barrett on the... And now for Noah. Can you put him over? in, but TD Barrett's hung around. You finally woke up. Oh, oh yes, sir. Right exactly. Yeah. All right here, he's going back to that setup. See how he's running the same couple plays. You know, that's what most people do. But anyway, two minutes left. He's got to go down and score, and he's got to get a stop. So and he's going to have to throw it a little play. bit more. You saw TD Barrett just completely... Yeah, Culpepper in the game here. It. And Noah took Going it. the little flood concept. Play. Noah's been able to bag oh, this. Yeah, you see here, see, he's kind of, you know, gun shy a little bit of that route. That route's standing wide hey, open. Finally, That's where you've got to you have a short term up, memory as a quarterback. PA cross. Ball pepper on second and 18. There's that, there's that, and there he comes back to it. Great job by TD Barrett right there. Desperation time. Put a right lot here of stress on Noah's you know, Noah can kind of sit back. Same let play his guys here. Rush off the edge. Play a lot of coverage. And if you're TD Barrett, you know we haven't seen a lot of great passes. Wide Robert open. Wide open right here. Wide open. Here. He hits him. Good job. That's what he was trying to do on the first drive. Noah actually is playing significantly worse defense as this game has gone on. Um, in my personal opinion, he's he is because Noah is not prepared for this game plan. Noah's trying to figure out what TD Barrett's doing while TD Barrett's doing it. That's what's causing Noah a lot of issues. Had Noah, I mean, Noah bagged this in the first drive, and then TD Barrett went back to it and was able to complete it in this drive. So it's just interesting the way Noah approaches defensively. Uh, I think honestly, it's because Noah did not, ha Noah never play, either hasn't played this very much or had never really played this scheme. Um, that's really what it comes down to. But anyway. That's DK so one minute left here. You see here that decision to call the timeout means he has to go for an onside kick. Going to gun spread. That timeout right there forces him to have to rely on an onside kick now. Which is I'll go to P.A. Reed here. If this is a really Barrett, interesting play call. Hurry up, get one more play off for a big play, but really you got to take some changes here. You got to get everything underneath. Eight. Two drags, a slant. Play action pass. Step and right. nothing there. Playmaker's up, throws it away. For a playmaker up the field, but nobody yeah, that just there. wasn't a good way to run that play, in my opinion, but I'll get what he was trying to do. Noah, youngest MCS. That's not one of his major history. passes that he uses. Slot buck. Oh, still coming. Oh, that's such a classic B move. I still got a freaking tight end over there. What? Oh, yep, he's, three times he's talking about there. this guy right here. He's got Julio on the line. He's got now Darryl. the reason that that's an issue is because he can't audible. He can't hot route, and he, he can't run everything that he wanted to run on that. He probably wanted to put that guy on a post route, Let's but he couldn't left. because it was a tight end. I don't know where that is. 
You see him saying, Nick, that he needs a touchdown on one play, but you can't really think like that. I know you need a big chunk play, but you can't just try to cook up some one play touchdown videos. That's not going to work in this situation. Noah knows that. So if you're TD Barrett, you got to look for like a 30, 40 yard dot to get deep curl like, here. He's got the like curl route. And call timeout and then do one more play and kick a field goal. That's the only chance you really have in this situation. They're in 10. Uh, he's got the right number of wide receivers out there. Yeah, I don't know where Looking that one is. Looking for anything, hit his So fourth and ten here. He's going to find something you know, out. TD Barrett's been pretty really clutch to, throughout to this game, too. That's one thing to kind of highlight. I thought he was he's very, like, very no clutch what, in how he played. He's excited to be here. Right, he's going to have a good time. He's going to do his best. He said, I'm going to learn from this experience. Hey, Reed. That's all you can ask for. When you get in a spot like this, it's it's just such a good experience. Uh, here's your it's slant. Here's your valuable. motion slant. I now, love this setup. Lock in. He knows he needs to improve on and come back better and stronger. Trying to three. Just, uh... So I'll show you this play right here. That was actually a really good play. Um, that was spread double flex. And it has this little uh, post route that's going to get pretty good separation. Um, pretty good separation against man, against zone. Uh, and it's in the spread double flex. It's called PA read. Now, Noah, like I said, Noah's running a lot of cover two, a lot of drop back cover two here. But basically, um, what TD Barrett's going to do is he's going to take this guy, put him on a slant. Andrews is going on a little uh, smoke screen. The back's going to go on a little shoot flat. And smart route brown, that's what we're doing. And basically, they're either going to take the slant. And you notice that this this route to, um, and of course, you know, be, because of the masterful pass rush or practice mode, it's going to jack everything up. But basically, Noah's playing that Mabel coverage, right? He's playing that Mabel coverage. That's what he wants to play. That's what he's going to play. So you're going to see that right here. So because of that, Noah's going to go. Um, I actually think this is kind of a dangerous play, to be honest. But I like the play. Um, and you see here, again, this little wiggly route, it's not exactly that S pose. It's a little bit more. You see how I can hit that? It's almost like a crossing invert route. Um, and that's that's kind of what TD Barrett was using that for. So good read by him on that play. In case anyone had the over under, shoot. Picks up a first down. Uh, he takes a timeout here. Hitch corners. Should go to deep curl. That's kind of his bread and butter he's play. About Ten yards here. Uh, he's going to motion the streak over. Actually, very inside. interesting to see why he does that. He's trying to beat cover two. Nothing the there. Pocket. Throws this one away. Excellent defense right there by Noah. I mean, you couldn't ask kind of surprised at the play kind of selection later in the game. Kind of around, but here, this screen. And then throw it away. He's going to stick with the screen. Watch. They all drop back. And that's just because the way Noah's playing work, defense. Work, work, work. Oh my God, no. He almost had him. No. Now, right here, you got to take your time. Um, you got to take your three. Right? you got to take your three at this point. The reason the screen worked wasn't because it's a glitchy play necessarily. It's just because Noah was dropping everybody back. He was dropping them in like 25-yard zones. So everybody's going back. And basically what TD's trying to do is he's trying to get a block on those zones and be able to swerve kind of through it and use his user ability to get a touchdown. Almost actually worked for him on that play. Fighting till the end. It's not over till it's over. And you never know what can happen on an onside kick, no timeouts left for well, This TD part right Barrett. here is why I really think TD Burt should have, like, kicked the field goal right here. Um, but he's not going to do that. He's going to bring the offense out. I sort of thought he'd attempt the field goal. Very surprised by this. I thought the screen Corner was route. pretty much saying, hey, I'm going to get a couple Hitch. yards and I'm going to kick the field goal. But Quick. interesting enough, flat. he's going to go for post it. Post route here. Uh, he's trying to hit the know, post route deep. The field goal here. There, corner route. Out there. Should have scrambled out. Got all the away. time in the world. 22 seconds. See the, the tick, 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 tick. Yeah, might as well kick Put yourself in a bad Unless position. You take a shot at the end zone, you really he's going to try to basically take three shots at score. So it's take a shot at the end zone. And it's just a bad mistake. It's a big goal. mistake on clock he's management. Got, you can't just run around and, and drag. Throw you got to take a shot. Probably see if it takes a drag. No. Runs with Kel Pepper. Gets about 15. Yeah, there. will take off. With but again, here, 15 right, seconds. Like you see the eyes. Clock sticking. He's going to take the field goal right here. And um, and that's and gonna be that. So 
So that's that's his that's his offense in a nutshell. I mean, that's the Ravens' offense. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want more uh, pro level schemes like this, I have nine videos right now in my text message membership that actually break down a lot of pro level concepts, pro level schemes. We release a new one every single week as well, and we've got one coming out tomorrow that's going to be really, really, really good as well. So uh, if you want to get access to those videos, just shoot me a text message. My number is eight one two two one six three six four four. So some of those are my schemes, some of them are pro player schemes but we've broken down the carolina bunch trips uh the u trips from the new england book the split close pats a slot offset all of that stuff so if you want to get access to those schemes just shoot me a text we also have defense in there as well we have the big nickel over g and we're going to be adding some new defenses as well within the next couple of weeks so thank you so much for watching today's video this has been td barrett's offensive scheme it's actually really effective now especially in mutt because of the new michael vick card you can actually use michael vick to run this scheme at a very high level with the new escape artist and gunslinger combo very very effective so check that out thanks for watching today's video hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions you can always text me and uh, we'll see you guys later